this is my wood gas project, a homemade gasifier. It's an Embarra design, but it's yeah the Swedish inverted V hearth too. Um, this is the hearth. It's got the nozzles. They'll have cast iron caps on it with the correct hole size drilled in it for the engine. And the, this cone in here is um, about 10 mil plate. And this is a restrictor ring, which sort of sacrificial that'll burn away and you can also change the size for the engine and there'll be a flange welded to here to bolt the the bottom half with the grate onto here and then onto the wood hopper and so yeah the air comes in here because this bit here will bolt onto there and this is the air inlet and it's got a one-way valve in there and yeah, and that's the ash clear out door and the grate shaker so you'd put a tool on that and you can rock that and it'll shake the grate in here and this is a cyclone filter the gas comes in the bottom and then the crap drops down into the little canister down there and this needs to be joined onto here just a bit of a taper to help the wood flow into there and I was going to cut the flange one flange out of that but I have to get some more plate and I started making a cooler and a gas scrubber but I'm not really happy with that so I'll have to start again and fix that here's the great shaker in action Just so hopefully that'll work Here's the hearth in the bottom half of the unit. And the the idea with this inverted V hearth is the um charcoal and ash and stuff forms a protective barrier to protect the metals from the heat so they don't get eaten away. But yeah. Hopefully it'll last a few miles. And then um the gas comes out here and then the cyclone bolts directly to here. But yeah, there'd be an outer flange which will stick about about here from that face and then this flange will come right across and meet to that and then the, the other one will be on this wood hopper. And then this this ring will then weld to the flange on the hearse. Here's the underneath of the hearse and they're the same idea the um, char will protect this from the heat but yeah this is it's either 10 or 12 mils I think it's 12 but yeah I hand forged that I um, out of a flat bit of plate and it took many hours of heating and hammering on the anvil Here's the cooler. I'm not very happy with this. The plan was the gas flows up this side along here and down the other and it had a clear out and it was going to have like scrubbers and that in here but it's pretty heavy and I don't think it'll be efficient. So yeah I might try again. Yeah another one of the reasons why I didn't get to finish the project as I, I built this power hammer probably about the same time as the wood gas project and yeah I, I built this for doing my blacksmithing but yeah and also I was building a hot rod which I've still got I was building that all at the same time so yeah too many projects and the wood gas one was not of high priority so it never got done and also I built bought a car probably eight years ago which was it was going, going to be fitted to, but then um, I used that as my daily driver. It's a 1981 Volvo 245, and I still have that and still driving it. And it, it was an automatic too, so that wasn't going to work because you need a manual because you need to have the revs up quite high. But yeah, many, many, many projects.